Hello, fabulous people out there in Carillion land. This is Chad Runyon. I am coming at you from 13 West in Carillion Roanoke Memorial Hospital. That's the EAP office, the Employee Assistance Office, Employee Assistance Program office, that is, that's been embedded here to take care of Carillion employees. Um, we are here to have your back. Now, if you're anything like your neighbor on your unit, on your floor, somewhere in this building or out in the world, you're probably at times have trouble sleeping. And sometimes that might be a lot of trouble. First thing you're going to do with anything is you're going to check with your PCP, see if there's anything else that is going on. If not, the next step is what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a, a sort of a three guy, three round uh, sleep guide that can give you some rest, whether it's you're having trouble go to, going to sleep or whether you wake up in the middle of the night and your mind is reminding you of all these things that you need to be worrying about and you need to care about, even the things that you have absolutely no control over. Um, this is one way to deal with that. So um, let yourself be right now with me. Let yourself be where you go to sleep and you can be there. And just so you know, most studies show that 20 to 30 minutes is about how long it takes a healthy sleep cycle to begin. So if you fall asleep immediately, that's a good sign you're not getting enough sleep. If you're trying to get to sleep for an hour and a half, that's another sign on the other end. So right now, put yourself, if you want to close your eyes, make yourself comfortable, please do that. Um, um, what you're going to do now, and you can do this yourself, I'm going to guide you the first time, is um, we are, we are going to, we're going to lie back and allow our body to turn to stone and not yet we're going to do it piece by piece so with your eyes closed i'd like you to now yeah take a nice deep breath sink into your bed there get yourself comfortable and i want you to allow your feet to turn into stone ancient stone it can be cool stone if it's hot outside or hot in your room it can be warm stone if it's cool whatever is good for you let it turn that temperature okay there's other things too if you don't like stone you can always have it turn to sand but we're going to go with stone for this you let your feet turn to very 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 heavy heavy stone and allow your feet to sink sinking into your mattress don't worry your mattress is fine and so are you but allow your feet to sink into the mattress and then doing this at home, you take it as slowly or as quickly as you need. Moving up now to your calves, shins, and knees. We're going to do an abbreviated version here. You're going to allow them to also turn to stone, sinking deep, 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 deeply into your mattress. Moving up now, and you take as long or as quickly as you need at home. But now are your thighs and your hips and your buttocks, they're all going to turn to stone and sink. Luxuriating, sinking deeply, comfortably, warmly, gently down into that mattress. And let's go with all of your torso. For sake of time for here, we're going to do the hands, forearms, biceps, triceps, shoulders, everything, all the upper body. It's going to turn into this stone. This warm, comfortable, deeply, deeply sinking stone. Going now to your neck, your head, your face, chin, lips, eyes, nose, ears, your hair, all the way around your scalp, everything turning to this beautiful, pristine, ancient stone sinking deeply, deeply, deeply. Again, doing this as slowly as possible, body part by body part at home. We're doing it sort of fast for this video. Each part turning to stone in a very healthy, comforting, relaxing way. Sometimes when you get to the top of your head, you might be asleep, and that's a wonderful thing. And if you're not, that is perfectly okay. We're going to go back down to your feet. Everything is still stone, still sunk down deeply, deeply in the mattress. The second part, you're going to choose someone that you love. They can be living, dead, anyone. They, they're going to come in and they're going to try to lift your feet, okay? And they try, they try, and they can't. So they put your feet and they sink back down into the mattress. They go down to your lower legs. Try again. They're trying again with all this love, and they let it sink, okay? Now you're going to go body part by part of our going up through each section, allowing that person that cares about you, that you know cares about you, try to lift that heavy, heavy stone. You 
they're never going to be able to do it. They finally end up at your head. They try to lift your head. No, nope, it's no, no dice. Sink back deeply. You're going to allow that person to kiss you gently on the forehead and decide that you must need to sleep. When you get to this point, you may be asleep, and that's a wonderful, beautiful, sleepy thing. And if not, it's perfectly OK. We're now going to go back down to your feet. And as we travel down, all of that stone is going to melt back. So it's your body. OK, you've got your body again and we're going to do progressive muscle relaxation. So you're going to tense each part. So like this, you tense your fist very, very as tight as you can and really notice. Tune into how tight that is. And when you relax with a breath, exhale, really allow and notice the difference as the muscle begins going from contraction to relaxation. And what I'm going to ask you to do now, I'm going to give your ask you to give your body parts permission to relax more. We're usually in some state of tension, even when we think we're relaxed. Allow it to go even more and just say it's okay. It's okay to allow it to relax. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start at our feet and you're going to crunch up and you're going to squeeze up your toes all the way. Please don't hurt yourself. Don't do any body part that might hurt yourself. And when you breathe out, you really relax. You really relax, then you notice, and then you give permission to relax even more, and you notice that, okay? You're gonna go step by step, tensing, relaxing. You're gonna go by your, your feet, your ankles, your legs, up through your knees, your thighs, all the way up until you get to your face, and be careful, you're even gonna tense, rah, tense everything up, okay? Tense it all up without hurting yourself, and then really notice when you relax and release. Now. When you get to that point, there's a good chance you're going to be asleep, and that's a wonderful, beautiful thing. If not, you know what? You just spent an hour, you not an hour, you just spent some time, a short bit of time um, in control of what your thoughts are doing. You're starting to relax your body. You can go through the cycle again, and I promise you, it won't, you're going to, it's going to help you get to sleep, and it's going to help you also control some of those thoughts that are going, going through your mind. Now, this is something it sort of originally came as an old progressive mu muscle relaxation techniques. Um, one of them was by something called psychocybernetics. You can research that, or you can always call 981. 8950. Press 2. They'll get you set up. You can come here to 13 West in Carilion Roanoke Memorial Hospital. There's tools here where we can help you sleep. We can help you do other things, help you take care of yourself. It can be 60 minutes you come here, 60 minutes where you're not taking care of anybody except for you. Okay, and we're going to be helping with that. We've got your back. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your work and thank you for being wonderful friends and neighbors here in the hospital. Um, and if you're in another hospital, you can still give us a call and we'll be there to help you too. Thanks.